Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental Oil Tutoring. So now is the time where you've been, well you've probably been thinking about it for a while, but if you're looking to take your quality um, assurance exam, so you can either take your portfolio or you can either submit your portfolio, I should say, or you need to take the full quality assurance exam. So you might be wondering, okay, the, the exam, let's try that, you know, see what happens, because the thought about doing the whole portfolio might even be more overwhelming to you. So if that's the case, if you don't want to kind of organize everything and have to deal with all of that, then this is what you should do. And the nice thing is, is I can help you through that, because depending on how long you've been practicing hygiene, you might not know where to start. You know, the worst thing to do is to buy a textbook from Amazon, this who knows how many pages, probably thousands, right? Who knows? Those big, thick textbooks that you probably haven't looked at since you went to school and then having to study from that, that's the worst thing you can possibly do because the quality assurance exam is not like the dental hygiene board exam that you have to take to be a dental hygienist. This is different. It's not an easy exam, but it's not as hard and as complicated as the board exam. So it's kind of right in the middle. So that's why I do offer a course so that if you are able to study everything, um, then you will be able to pass. So far, I have been teaching for this exam the past two years, I believe, maybe a year and a half, because um, they did have the, the exam and then they took it off and then they brought it back on again. So maybe it's been a year, but everybody so far has been able to pass. So I take that as a good sign, knock on wood, that this course does help people because that's usually, <coughs> hmm, I'm sorry, <laughs> oh my goodness. There, guys, sorry, I just kind of had some water there. But um, usually that's the first question that people ask is, well, what if I don't pass? You know, are you, are you actually going to help me? I'm paying for this course, does it actually help people? Yes, it does. Every single person who has taken it has been able to pass the exam. So that's pretty good, right, you guys? That is 100%, um, percent. I like those odds. So let me just show you guys what's inside. So I'm not gonna show you the actual PowerPoints, obviously, but a lot of people ask, so what can I expect? Like what is inside this course that's going to help me? So I teach you guys literally everything that you have to know. Not too much, but not too little either. If you were to just simply read the textbook, that would be too much. Like you would be, you wouldn't know where to start, what to study, none of that. So I teach you guys everything you have to know not too much, not too little. Plus inside every single um, module, you will see a mock exam also. Because it's one thing to go through topics, um, but to not take a mock exam afterwards, you don't know if you actually know the material. So does that make sense? Um, and I did want to make a note of to you guys, um, a lot of people have been asking is, local um, anesthetics in the course. Yes, it is. You will find that under pharmacology. So yes, I don't have a topic that says local anesthetic, but it is under um, module three. And there's also a little bit in module four. So I kind of put it with what topic it kind of goes hand in hand with. So that's a common question. Um, I just made a note here. What are the other common questions? Oh, um, a lot of people ask me, so how how long should I study for your course? Well, that is different for everybody. I've, I've had somebody study and it took them two weeks. That's, I would say that's the minimal amount of time, but you should be studying more than that because they still say you should be studying for 75 hours. That's what they say. Um, to be realistic, if you can study two hours a week minimum, um, um, I want to even say if you can devote like 16 hours, you should be good. But I don't want to tell you guys how much to study and how little to study. If I were to study everything, it would take me longer just because I kind of take my time, if that makes sense. I would probably study at least one hour every day for a month and then kind of see how I feel. But everybody's different, right? I don't want to tell you guys that's too much time 
too little time. But what people have been telling me is they're studying anywhere from two weeks before they take the test to a month to two months. I would say two months, you don't need to spend longer than that. But it really depends on what your lifestyle is. If you work full time, then you might need to take the two months because you'll only be able to study on Saturday mornings, you know, or, or you know, something like that. But the nice thing about this course is that I have everything here for you um, and there has been some updates also because it's now September and they did add a couple other things too so that will actually be added at the end here um, but yeah you guys so study everything you can go to module one and then module two and module three it is all here so you don't have to think okay what am I going to study am I studying enough am I studying too much plus I do have um, a live session at the end of every single month. So since they did open it up this month, I will have a live session to go through some of these questions with you at the end of uh, September. And then I'll have another one the end of October and then the end, the end of November. So you will talk to me too. So you're not just simply signing up for, for the course and then I leave you alone. No, you can, you know, email me, talk to me. Um, you can even comment after every module so that I kind of know how you're doing. Um, there will be new quizzes added. Like there are new things added all the time because they did just uh, release a couple updates. But so I'm on top of everything you guys. So this is what you need if you're looking to take that quality assurance exam. So I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom. If you need help, if you have questions, let me know. I am always, always here to help because I know this is very stressful, isn't it? But I am here to make it less stressful for you. So thank you guys so much for listening and I will talk to you soon.